constant waiters who don't write orders down. You ever came across these absolute prize right ones of a bell end? Just look at you while you're giving them the order. I had this one guy who was like, hi guys, can I take your order? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, could I get the, uh, you didn't do all that. Could I get the uh, goujons to start please? Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. Can I get a come with a garlic bread as well? He just went, yeah. <laughs> How do you want your steak? All right. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Anybody else see that? See what, Carl? Guy didn't write a thing down. Well, Carl, I was told the good waiters don't have to write anything down. Well, who's to say this guy's a good waiter? He hasn't proven himself to me. He's got no track record of qualifications or certificates. Well, Carl, we're gonna have to wait and see, wait and see. Is that why we'll go out? Is that why we'll book a table? Is that why I put on me nice shirt, me good underpants, me weekend underpants, Premier League underpants, for this awkward 45 minute period of not even knowing if I'm gonna get me order? Then the waiter came over and he's got all the plates on one arm because he's a fucking dick. <laughs> Careful, that one's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that in Glasgow, no word of a lie, and on the third imaginary plate, the bloke just looked at it, no expression, just went, I didn't order that. <laughs> so I have to rectify it as well, all right? Everyone's got the meal? Enjoy your meal. <laughs> I said, get the fuck back here, never mind, enjoy your meal. Is everything all right? So I said, everything's not all right. You said, enjoy your meal. That would imply you were fucking off for the immediate future. Could you please assure me that the garlic bread's on its way? Do you know what he said? Oh, are you sure you ordered a garlic bread? <laughs> <laughs> this is because he didn't write it down. Yes, I'm sure I ordered a garlic bread. I always order a garlic bread. No, God, spaghetti and meatballs, for fuck's sake. It's a very saucy dish. <laughs> I need to counteract that with a bit of bread. What I like to do, I like to scoop. I like to scoop each bit, make a tiny little meatball sandwich out of it until I've got one bit left. That one bit I will use to mop the plate up at the end. It's a very regimented system. Been doing it since I was about 15. I know what I'm fucking doing when it comes to a garlic bread, right? <laughs> Not like these other daft bastards I'm with on the table. Oh, should we get a garlic bread for the table? For the table, will we balls get a garlic bread for the table? What do you think it is? Tap ass. Fuck off. <laughs> Eight slices between five people. Are you right in the head, are you? <laughs> and then we're just gonna split the bill eight ways as if you're having a bottle of wine to yourself, you fucking slack. <laughs> and the waiter came back over, he said, sir, the garlic bread's gonna take another eight to 10 minutes. Do you still want it? In eight to 10 minutes, not only will I have finished my meal, I will be eating my friend's leftovers. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Take it off the bill. And then when the bill arrived, who well, wasn't on the bill? If it was on the bill, I would not be here telling you the story now. <laughs> <laughs> he circled, service not included. <laughs> now that annoyed me for a couple of reasons. One, after that easily avoidable garlic bread fiasco, <laughs> he still had the cheek, the arrogance, the outright audacity to ask for a tip. And two, he circled it. So he had access to pens all along. 